Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. So these are total seven courses what you get on my uh, Civil Brains app and also on the Udemy platform. Okay. So there is one offer which is running on. That is, if you buy any two courses of mine, you are going to get this concrete technology course uh, absolutely free, right? And uh, so this course is good for uh, students who are in first year, second year, those are fresh years, those are into contracting business, and also for experienced people, these courses are very good. So I'll quickly brief about my courses and I'll be showing you the entire syllabus and all, right? So the first course is a site engineer course. So you can see the how many reviews uh, it has. It has got 2,700 students. It is a best seller on the Udemy platform. Uh, the course, this is this you're going to get only for 360 rupees. I'll be providing the coupon in the description. You can uh, click on that uh, link and it will directly take you to the Udemy platform where it will be showing you 360 rupees. Otherwise, it will be for 1600 rupees. Sometimes it will be at 455 rupees. But through my link, you can buy it for 360 rupees. Okay, so all these are the contents of all those courses. And these are the reviews what is given by the student. You can read all these things. Just pause it and you can see. Okay, I'll quickly explain you how it is actually taught. So I'll be starting with the PPT something like this. So I'll be taking you from the basics of civil engineering. What is cement? What is concrete? What is RCC? Why RCC has to be used when we have concrete? Then I'll be giving an example why only we are going to make use of steel in RCC and not other materials. Then we'll be understanding what are the different grades of concrete, the different grade of cement and all. Because we are starting from the very fundamentals. So that is why I have to explain all these things. Then we'll see what is design mix and um, nominal mix. We'll, we'll, we'll understand that through a very simple example. Okay, and then we are going to see the practical video of uh, volume batching, and that is our nominal mix design and a uh, mix design. Okay, design mix design. Then we'll see what is the different diameters of the bar. Then we'll start with the site clearance activity. That is the very first activity that you're supposed to do if you take up any construction activity. Then we'll try to see how the center line layout is put up. We'll see what is working space, what is the importance of working space. Okay, uh, so everything has been explained with the practical site images and also with the help of a very good uh, attractive PPT and we'll see how to take out the depth of the foundation. How do you measure it with the help of outer level? Okay, all those things will be taught in this particular uh, course of site engineer. We'll try to see how to take the levels if you want to give the depth of the foundation, how with the help of outer level you can do all those things. All those things I've explained in my course. Also the calculation part and all, right? Yeah. So similarly, I'll be taking it to one more. So again, after that, uh, how to do the center line layout and all that is also taught how to read the structural drawings that is also taught to you and also how to put the PCC, uh, how to put the PCC, how to make the uh, starter frame uh, concrete, how to make the center line on the uh, site, all those things with the help of images and practical videos I've explained to you. You can quickly run through all these things. Okay. And also how to do the bar bending schedule and also how to do the quality checklist and all those things is covered in my entire topic yeah so you can see it here how this footing has been prepared what is the importance of providing a cover block what is the use of this needle vibrator how this shattering has to be done and along with the shattering if you are a quantity estimator or a site engineer you should know how to calculate the quantity estimation also i explained how to take out the quantity estimation like uh, for footing how much how much concrete is required how much shattering is required how much pcc is required how much backfilling is required how much concrete column how much concrete uh, concreting is required how much shattering is required for the column each and everything has been explained in the quantity estimation course even the plinth beam layout also everything is explained with practical site images how it has to be done and each and everything also to calculate the roof beam shattering and all and also if you want to calculate the slab centering and all how much concrete is required all those things i've explained in my entire course you can see it here right if this if this much footing are there according to this how much concrete is required and how much cement bag sand aggregate is required water is required what will be the total cost of this all these things i've explained in my quantity estimation course along with that we'll be learning how to read the structural drawings let us say you're a fresh engineer or uh, you are finding it very difficult to learn the structural drawings I have, I have a separate course for this where i've taken six different drawings and explained all those things how to read these drawings okay how to read the foundation drawings how to understand these column drawings because if you're working as a site engineer uh if you will be very good at reading the structural drawings but you'll never but you'll never know why this column is 9 inch by 12 inch why it is not 10 inch by 15 inch why you have provided a 12 diameter 6 bar why not 16 diameter 4 bar all these things we are going to learn in this particular course of drawing reading where i'll be explaining you right from the fundamentals and also with the help of etap software we'll see how this steel are actually how this uh 
values are actually got from the ETAB software. In this, in this way, all the drawings I've explained right from the plinth beam layout, uh, slab reinforcement, each and everything I've explained in my drawing reading course. Yeah. Uh, so these are the few PPTs that I wanted to show. Again, along with that, we'll be learning about uh, a difference between one way slab and two way slab. Okay, so most of the YouTube videos you are going to get a very wrong information because in one way slab, uh, the name one way is due to because the bending is going to happen in only one direction. That is why it is called as one way slab. Whereas in two way slab, the bending is going to happen in both the direction. Hence, it is called two way slab. Along with that, in one way slab, we'll be having a two cases. You can see case two and case one, which you'll never get in any textbook. Whatever I explain is taken from IS code. So again, in one way slab, we'll be having a two uh, case one and case two. So in one way slab, the bending can happen in shorter span as well as in the longer span, okay? So all these things right from the fundamentals I've explained, and also with the help of IS456 code book, what the code book says, why this crank bar has to be provided, right? Now, what, what do you mean by positive bending moment? What do you mean by negative bending moment? Everything has been explained here with the help of site images, site videos, and fundamental I have explained to you with the help of all these uh, PPTs and all, with the help of the concept of bending moment and all. And you can see it practically, how your two-way slab is going to look. Each and everything has been explained in a more detailed way. And also the SP34 detailing clauses also I've explained, right? Yeah, along with that, I'll be showing you a few, uh, few other things like, see, uh, along with that, for beam also I've explained why this top extra bar has to be provided, why this bottom curtain and bar has to be provided, why again this top right extra has to be provided, what is the importance of this bending moment, whatever we studied during our engineering days, right? Uh, why is that we are going to give the uh, stirrups very close near the support? Why it is uh, greater at the center? What is the importance of providing the stirrup? All those things we are going to learn in this entire site engineering course, drawing reading course, quantity estimation course. And each and everything has been explained with practical site images. Uh, each drawings are different for us. That is a reason I've explained all these things in my entire course. You can see it here. We'll be having a negative bending moment here. We'll be having a positive bending moment here. We have a negative bending moment here. So all these are the fundamentals what we studied in structure analysis and strength of materials. The application part we are going to see in all my courses. Why, why you have to provide top uh, left extra? Why you have to provide top uh, right extra? Why near the support the spacing has to be less? Okay. And all these things we are going to learn in my entire course. Along with that uh, quantity estimation, I've explained you. Then also I'll be explaining you the entire sequence of a construction right from the surveying to the soil testing, how a complete house construction will be done uh, step by step. Uh, my course is there. Along with that, I'll be explaining through this particular word format so that you can remember it in your life and you'll never forget how all this sequence of construction is done. So in this way, a lot of PPT is ready here. Along with that, I'll be teaching you about the concrete technology part well, what are the advantages of machine, machine mix, mixing? Then also we'll be seeing uh, what is curing, what are the different ways of pouring a concrete, right? So what is the best way of pouring the concrete? What is segregation? What is bleeding? How do you take care of all these things? And what are the different types of compactions? All those things I've explained here with the help of a beautiful PPTs here. I'll show you a few more PPTs. Again, uh, coming to the other part, uh, this is about the workability. What is workability? What is the importance of doing workability? How do you understand this workability? So each and everything has been explained here. Uh, what is the importance of doing the slum test? How a slum test has to be done? Practically, how you do tomorrow if you become a site engineer, how do you carry it? How do you carry out the slum test at the site? What all things you need to keep in your mind? That is also covered in my concrete technology course. Anyway, you know the offer. If you buy any two courses, you'll get this concrete technology course for free. Similarly, we'll be learning how a simply supported connection is given practically on the field. Okay. And what are the clauses that we have according to IS456? How, how to provide a spacer bar? What is cantilever bar? How to decide the number of beams and uh, beam sizes and rebar in a uh, residential building? Then uh, how to orient the column? Then also what is a floating column or stub column? Uh, what is lapping in the construction? What is development length? Uh, then what is the difference between a clear cover and effective cover? What are different um, covers that you're supposed to give uh, for different elements like footing and all? What is the importance of providing cover block? Each and everything has been explained in my next. What is singly reinforced section? What is doubly reinforced section? What is flat slab? What is retrofitting? Each and everything I've explained in my entire course, right? So these are the contents that I wanted to show you. Now I'll quickly run through my PPT again so that we can have a, uh, then also certain uh, thumb rules also I've explained. Like, uh, suppose if you're working as a site engineer, if this is the area what is given to you, then how do you find the cement quantity required, the aggregate quantity required and all with the help of a thumb rules, I've explained you how to calculate all those things. Yeah. So I'll quickly, again, along with that, I've explained even the interior part also. So far we're seeing the 
um, structural part okay now we'll see uh, how to carry out the safety at the site then what are the different types of bricks you have what are the different tests that you're supposed to do on the brick then how do you uh, do the brick work and all uh, next uh, what are the different types of bricks that is available then entire one video i've shown you how a brick is practically manufactured in a brick manufacturing factory okay so in this way again how do, how do you provide the lintels how do you provide the window openings each and everything i've explained you uh, with a lot of uh, practical images and all and the plumbing activities and all yeah and my future courses will be on pb so it is going on maybe by the end of february or march first week i'll be explaining you how the pb installation will be done how this anchor bolt settings will be done how the rafters will be put up all those things you are going to see in my future courses where i'll be explaining you about this along with this i'll be explaining the bridge construction the petrol bunk construction all these things will come in my future uh, courses and you'll be learning all those things with help of um, uh, uh, structural drawings the pb planning how it has to be planned the erection mode and all right yeah so along with that We will be learning how to calculate what are different code books that you have. How do you calculate the floor finishing load? How do you calculate the uh, ceiling plastering load? And then how you take the live load from the code books? All those things have been explained in my course. So all those courses you have seen, uh, you can go through my courses. I'll again quickly run to my uh, PPT. Now you can see the reviews here. Yeah, so all these are the reviews given by the students. You can see those reviews. You can see all these reviews here. And uh, yeah, so these are the all together. There are 168 country students taking my courses. Around 17,000 students have enrolled here. And these are the different students from different engineering college. And these are the students from different countries who have taken my course. And these are the students who have recently uh, enrolled in my courses. Jo those are the international students from UAE, Philippines, Canada, UK, and so on. So this is my course number two on quantity estimation. You can see all the contents what I have given it here. You can see the contents here. I can see one of the students, uh, uh, Saura Wagmare, he got job also after finishing of the course and all these are the reviews given by the students, right? So you can see it here. And there is one course, as I mentioned, which is on drawing reading, okay? It has around 1400 students. It has a 4.3 star rating and all these are the course content of that particular lecture. Right. So again, the, you can see the reviews here. All these other reviews given by the students. You can go through them. Again, uh, this is one more course by name Diploma in Basics of Civil Engineering for Construction. Uh, okay. Again, you can see the contents here. Again, the reviews you can see it here. Again, there is one course by name Internship on Practical Aspects of Building Construction. It has 197 lectures around 46 hours of the content. And, and also, if you want to learn ETAPs, that course is also there. All these other contents, what you get in the ETAP course. All these other courses, all uh, all these other reviews given by the students. Then diploma in concrete technology course is absolutely free for only 10, uh, first 25 students. If you buy any two courses of my above, you'll get this course for free, okay? Yeah, so these are the certificate. If you buy all my seven courses, you're going to get a certificate in this name, Advanced Diploma in Practical Aspects of Civil Engineering. And if you take each courses, you'll get a uh, certificate like this. If you want an internship certificate, even that is also given by me. So these are the students review who have given it through WhatsApp and to, uh, through Google Forms. You can see it here. Uh, these are through a few uh, WhatsApp chat you can see here. I'm from Bangladesh and studying civil engineering and waiting my friends, uh, classmates are for your courses. Uh, the course is really awesome. I'm happy with the content. Uh, site engineering only lectures are awesome. Again, you can see here all these things. Few people have got job also. Okay, so all these things you can see it here. If you want to buy the combo courses, even that is also possible. Uh, you can buy any two courses at a discounted price. Yeah, you'll be having a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So if you're interested in the course, uh, you can uh, always WhatsApp into this number. I'll be providing the link in the description. But this offer is only for next four days. After that, it will go to its original price of 360 and 400 rupees or 55 rupees. Right. So uh, I, I look forward of uh, look forward for your participation in the course so that you get uh, good knowledge and you'll have a better future. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.